hello, good day to everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Lessons Made Easy with Teacher TV. So for today, we are going to have our lesson all about a basic construction in geometry, and this is part two. I already uploaded the part one, and that is by setting the line, by setting line segments and angles. Okay, so for today, we are going to have our construction, and we are going to construct parallel lines and perpendicular lines so please stay tuned and keep on watching okay so the next construction will be how to construct parallel lines okay so I'm going to draw here a line and what we're going to do is that we are going to draw a line another line that is parallel to here but this time syempre um in order for us to draw a line parallel here here dapat meron pa tayong isang point somewhere here okay so if there is already a given point then that's good but kung wala pa then magkanya ka okay so another point here now let me name a, a point here let me name a point here A and let me name a point here B. So clearly, I have here line AB, right? And then, um, etong point naman na to, let me name this point as point B. Okay? So, of course, to draw a line that is parallel to this, dapat meron tayong transverse line. And that transverse line will serve as the uh, parang basis natin kung paano tayo makakapag-create ng another line that is parallel to this line. And to do that, of course, we have to draw a transverse line. Okay? So, mag-draw tayo ng transverse line. Transversal, some other terms. Yung transversal natin, it's a line that intersects two lines that are parallel. So, here. Okay, i-connect natin yung dalawang points natin, points P and A. Okay, so clearly, you have here a transversal already. And, ang gagawin natin, we're going to create parallel line here. To do that, of course, you need your compass. Alright, step number one is that to place your compass point here on point A. Then, adjust the compass width. Depende sa gusto mo, pwede yung pag-anon. Depends upon, just huwag naman masyadong OA na lakay. Yung katamdaman lang na lakay. Mga hanggang dito lang siguro. Okay, yan. Yung, masyado, yung sakto lang na pwede nating magagaya dito. Okay, yun yung ibig ko sabihin. Right, so, gawa na tayo ng arc crossing these two sides or two rays or two lines okay there yan after that ganun de gayahin natin kung ano yung ginawa natin dito doon sa point P okay so gayahin natin and we do the same look at it as you can see and then go back here tapos yung point na to itapat mo dito sa intersection Nakikita nyo ba ito? Nagkaroon kasi ng point of intersection somewhere here eh. Itapat mo doon. Then, open. Adjust the opening of your compass na kung saan dapat yung, yung, yung pencil na, yung pencil ng excuse me sa langgam. <laughs> okay, itapat natin dito. Ano ba langgam? <laughs> okay. Ayan. Itapat natin doon. Ayan. Adjust natin. Then, gayahin, um, gumawa tayo ng arc. Gumawa ko ng arc, ha? Yan. Para lang makita nyo. Gagawin din natin yung dito. Gagawa tayo ng arc here. Okay? Makita nyo? Just a very itsy bitsy tiny arc lang. Huwag naman masyadong OA sa laki yung arc natin. Okay? And yan. Okay na yan. Then, you see, nagkaroon tayo ng intersection. Itong big arc natin. Tapos yung malaking arc natin, nagkaroon ng point of intersection there. Then, connect point P to this point. Let me name that point as point R. 
Okay, and then connect it. Of course, using your straight edge and a pencil or color pencil. It's up to you. Okay, connect lang dan natin sila. Then, pagka-connect natin, ayan. Okay. There. Ayan. Clearly, you now have two lines that are parallel with each other. Okay, so, we now have line AB, line AB that is parallel. Remember our symbol for parallel? That is already parallel to line B, R. Okay? Okay, so this time what we are going to have will be constructing a perpendicular to a given line. Now, meron tayong dalawang construct, construction pagdating sa pag-construct ng perpendicular line to a given line. Yung una ay yung through a point on the line. At yung pangalawa naman ay through a point not on the line. Okay? So, unahin natin yung through a point on the line. Now, clearly, so pag sinabi natin through a point on the line, may line tayo na naandun yung point. Yung not on the line, point a point not on the line, syempre, walang point sa line natin na magiging basis natin para makapag-construct tayo ng perpendicular line. And to do this, of course, dapat meron tayong line. Okay. And this serves as my line. And then, meron akong point somewhere here. Yan daw yung sabi. So, meron tayong point dito. Okay. Uh, ang baling gagawin natin, magkakonstruct tayo ng line which is perpendicular to this. Remember, perpendicular lines, two lines that are perpendicular to each other forming a right angle. Okay? So, to do that, first step is, of course, get your compass. Okay, excuse me sa kamay kong <laughs> madaming mga sulat. That's okay. So, place the compass at point P. Okay, so let me name this point as my point P. Okay. Yan. And then, itapat daw natin tong point na to ng compass natin somewhere here. Draw an arc here. Okay, so syempre, adjust mo yung compass mo. Depende sa gusto mo. Okay, ayun, nagalaw ko. Okay, so ayan. Um, draw an arc here, rotate it to the other side, then draw an arc. Hindi natin ginalaw, ha? Hindi natin ginalaw yung opening ng ating compass. Then, let me name this point here. Nagkaroon ako ng point dito na, um, let's say this is my A, and my point B. Okay, then after that, what are you going to do next? Proceed to step number two. Okay, kunin natin ulit yung compass. So, nagkaroon na ako ng line AB dito ha. Line AB. Now, using your compass again, okay, place the compass at point A. So, itapat daw natin yung compass point natin sa point A. And then, i-adjust natin ngayon yung compass natin somewhere outstretch just above the point B. Just above, okay? Just above. Pwede yung outstretch. Bahala ka. Huwag naman masyadong ganun. Kasi hindi siya abot eh. Ilagpas mo naman ng konti sa point B. Okay? Yun. Ganun. Somewhere there. Above there. Okay? Kumanyang ka lang ng konti. Okay? And then, and then, be sure na dapat stable ha. Hindi gumagalaw. Right? Then, draw a very itsy-bitsy tiny arc. There. Okay? There. Ayan. Then, next, without changing the opening of your compass, tapat natin ulit yung point, compass point natin in our point B. Then, do not change 
Okay? Draw an arc somewhere there also. Okay? Yan. Pali, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang arcs that intersects with each other. Then, draw the intersection with point R. Okay? So, point R. Now, after that, yun na. You're almost done using your compass and, of course, your ball pen or any coloring pens if you have to make, just to make your construction beautiful. Okay? Pero, okay lang naman. Hindi. Colorful for as long as kapag construct kayo ng tamang construction <laughs> na hindi gumagamit ng protractor. Okay? Just a compass and a straight edge will do. So, you see, hindi ko ginagamit yung mga measurement dito sa ruler natin, ha? Hindi ko ginagamit. I just use this as my straight edge. And draw a line. Now, clearly, we now have a line that is perpendicular to this line. So, we have line, okay, line PR is perpendicular. Remember this symbol? This symbol is our symbol for perpendicular. Parang pabaligtad na T. And then, it's already perpendicular to line AB. Okay? So, that is how to construct a line that is perpendicular to another line. To this line. Okay, so let us now proceed on to the second part of constructing perpendicular line to a given line. But this time, what we're going to have will be constructing a perpendicular line through a point not. Nakakalito ano? <laughs> Baka nalilito na kayo. Not. So, yung nauna ay may point dito sa line natin. Ngayon naman ay wala sa line. It's, it is found somewhere here or padding here now let me just draw somewhere here na lang okay so i'm not very sure talaga kung gitna siya pero let me just draw a point somewhere here yan okay yung point na yan will serve as my point p at from that i am going to draw we are going to draw a line perpendicular to this line and to do that of course what we need is our compass and our straight edge. Wala tayong ibang gagamitin, kundi yun lang. We're not going to use a protractor. Okay? And to do that, what we're going to do is that, okay, eto, step on na tayo. Place the compass on the given external point, P, and draw an arc across the line on each side. Okay? And then, Make sure not to adjust, not to adjust the compass with in between. Okay? Yan. So, itapat na natin yung ating matulis na point somewhere here. And then, outstretch. Okay? Outstretch natin. Draw a tiny arc here. And then, draw a tiny arc here. Okay? It's okay, class, kung hindi masyadong ma, masyadong, masyadong maiksi yung space dito line dito kumpara here. Okay, that's not a problem. Ang gagawin lang talaga natin ay gagawa lang tayo ng line perpendicular here. Okay, now, clearly, you can see na nagkaroon ng intersection sa line na to at saka to itong art natin, itong line somewhere here at saka itong art na to um, dito. So, itong point also na to. Now, let me name this point as my point A. And let me name this point as my point B. Okay? And then, from that point, okay, from each point, let's draw an arc below. Below the line. So, magkakawa tayo ng arc somewhere here below so that the arcs cross another. Uh, magkakaroon kasi tayo ng point of intersection somewhere there. Okay? So, we're going to do dito muna tayo kay... Bahala ka magsimula kung saan ka ba sa A or B kahit alin dyan. 
<laughs> Outstretch your compass. Okay, huwag naman masyado. Basta, yung halfway lang, hindi ka tayo magdadraw ng arc ha. Diba dati, pag ganun tayo. Uh, magkagawa tayo ng arc somewhere here. Hindi masyado ba ako malayo? Uh, basta ganyan, okay na yan. Ano yung problema dyan? Then, without changing the compass width, okay, punta tayo ngayon dito. And then, draw an arc in the same way that you did a while ago. The same way you did a while ago. There. Okay? Then, clearly, you can see nagkaroon tayo ng intersection here. And that intersection will be named as my point R. Okay? Let me name that point as point R. Now, after that, ayan na. <laughs> oh, we're almost uh, done. Diba? What you're going to do is just, of course, to use your straight edge, connect the two points from here up to here. And then, let's use different color. So, i-connect na natin yung point P natin. And then, yung point R natin. Ayan. Then, of course, draw a line. Ayan. And then, now, we have already drawn a perpendicular line PR. A line PR perpendicular to line AB. So, perpendicular or perpendicular symbol. So, line P R is perpendicular to line A B. Okay, that will be all. I hope you learned a lot in this video lesson. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And also, uh, click the notification bell icon so that you will be notified if there are already videos uploaded. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Bye-bye everyone and bye!